Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. I'm so glad you could join me. Today, we had the pleasure of reading My People Are Innovative, a story about African-American inventors, written by Dr. Tasha Thompson Gray. Let's join Kareem and Karen as their parents teach them about men and women that created many different inventions that we use in our everyday lives. Grab your copy if you have it. Get ready to read with me in three, two, one. My People Are Innovative, a story about African-American inventors by Dr. Tasha Thompson Gray. It was Black History Month and Kareem had to do a project on African-American inventors. He was fascinated by the information he was learning. Kareem knew that Dr. George Washington Carver discovered over 300 uses for the peanut. But he was surprised to learn about so many other African-American inventors. He looked at his sister Karen and said, I bet you didn't know that an African-American man invented the super soaker water gun. Karen asked, are you for real? Yes, his name is Lonnie Johnson, responded Kareem. Wow, did you know that an African-American man invented the traffic light? Asked Karen trying to outdo her brother. Kareem responded sarcastically, everybody knows about Garrett Morgan. He also invented the gas mask. I love Black History Month because we get to learn about our history. Their mother, who was a teacher, overheard their conversation and said, you don't have to wait until February to learn about our history. Besides, there is too much to fit into one month let alone the shortest month of the year. Oh boy, <sighs> said Kareem to his sister. What did I just get us into? Karen responded, probably more work. Thanks, bro. Our people are innovative, mom proclaimed. The odds were stacked against our ancestor in almost every aspect of life, but they still did some remarkable things. I enjoy learning about African-American inventors. There are a few things in the kitchen that our people invented, she said as she ushered her children into the kitchen. Potato chips? An African-American invented potato chips? Asked Karen excitedly. Mom assured her, yes, one of America's favorite crunchy snacks was invented by an African-American chef named George Crumb. He was supposed to be making french fries, but accidentally cut the potatoes too thin. Kareem responded, I am glad that he made that mistake. I love potato chips. Mom continued to identify other things in the kitchen that African-American inventors created. On their way back to the dining room, the garage door opened. Daddy's home! squealed Karen as she dashed to the door. Hi, Daddy, she said very lovingly to her father. Daddy bent over to hug Karen and kissed her on the forehead as he replied, hello, baby girl. Then he asked, what's my family up to this evening? Mommy is teaching us about African-American inventors, explained Karen proudly. The two of them walked to the dining room. Well, that sounds fun. What have you learned so far? Dad asked as he leaned over to kiss mom. He then walked over to Kareem to give him a hug and fist bump. Mom said that our people are innovative, answered Karen. Dad replied, your mother's right. Let's go to the laundry room to take a look at the things that African-American inventors designed. The family went into the laundry room and dad pointed out the things that African-American people invented. Kareem and Karen were surprised and proud to find out that African-American men and women created so many household items. Kareem wondered what life would be like without these things. Teach us more, please, begged Karen. Are you sure this isn't more work? Teased mom as she smiled at her children who seemed eager to learn. There are a few other things in the house that African-American people created. Like what? Inquired Kareem. Mom responded, 
Well, there's the machine that keeps the house warm in the winter. The furnace? Asked Kareem. Yep, replied Mom. An African-American woman named Alice Parker invented the furnace. Frederick Jones, an African-American man, invented the air conditioner. Maybe she didn't like being cold and he didn't like being hot, suggested Karen. Maybe, said Mom laughing. I am just glad they both used their ingenuity. Engine what? asked Karen. Ingenuity, Kareem said slowly. It means they were clever and inventive. Karen responded, oh, I think I like that word. Then she repeated, ingenuity, ingenuity. There are many inventions outside of the house that we can thank African Americans for creating, Dad expressed to his children. He told them about the electric trolley, golf tee, tricycle, mailbox, and the method for dry cleaning clothes. Kareem and Karen were amazed to hear that African American inventors created many things that people still use today. Dinner is ready, Mom announced from the kitchen. Get cleaned up. Kareem asked, can we continue learning while we eat? Absolutely, answered Mom. Kareem, Karen, and their father cleaned the table and washed their hands. Then the family gathered at the dinner table and Dad blessed the food. They were eating dinner and Mom asked, did you all know that an African-American man named Alexander Miles invented the automatic elevator doors? The children and even Dad looked surprised. Mom continued, Mr. Miles invented the automatic elevator doors after his daughter almost fell through the elevator shaft because they forgot to close the doors manually. Karen looked terrified and said, that must have been scary. I'm sure it was replied dad. Necessity is the mother of invention. Daddy, what does that mean? Asked Karen. Kareem got excited and said, it makes sense now. Our ancestors invented so many things because they didn't have a lot of the things they needed. Mom replied, that makes a lot of sense, Kareem. She patted him on the back and said, great analysis. Dad looked at his children and said, Kids, there are two African-American doctors that I would like to tell you about. Kareem and Karen looked eager to learn more. Dad continued, Dr. Daniel Hale Williams was an African-American doctor. He was the founder of Provident Hospital here in Chicago, where he performed the first open heart surgery. Wow, that's amazing. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams, said Kareem proudly. He then asked his father, who was the other doctor? Dad responded, Dr. Patricia Bath. She was the first African-American female to receive a patent. She invented a device that refined laser cataract surgery. Karen looked confused, so Dad explained, a patent is what gives an inventor the legal rights to their invention. Karen seemed to understand. I am glad those doctors knew what they were doing, but why did people need those surgeries? She asked. Mom smiled at dad and explained to Karen. Open heart surgery helps to make blood flow properly to a person's heart. The cataract surgery is done on a person's eyes to help correct blurry vision. Karen seemed satisfied with her mother's explanation. As the family finished dinner and began cleaning up, dad and mom continued to share more information about African-American inventors and their inventions. Kareem and Karen were flabbergasted to learn that many of the things they use every day were produced by people who looked like them. They were so proud of their ancestors. Karen announced, We learned a lot of cool stuff today. I hope that I can remember all of the inventors and their inventions. Maybe we can make a book about them to help us remember, suggested Kareem. Dad agreed and said, there is much more to learn. 
Maybe we do need to find a way to remember it all. For now, let's clean up, suggested Mom. Daddy and Mommy, thank you for teaching us all those African American inventors, expressed Karen to her parents. Kareem chimed in, yeah, thanks. That was intriguing. Kareem pulled his brush from his pocket. Mom said sternly, Kareem, you better not brush your hair in this kitchen. Kareem smiled at his mother apologetically. Then mom asked, did you all know that Lida Newman invented the hairbrush and Kareem interrupted his mother and said, let me guess. She was an African-American woman, right? Mom nodded affirmatively. Kareem declared, you're right, mom. My people are innovative. How many inventions did you count in the book? I lost count. I really hope you enjoyed today's book and will join me again next week. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. But most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time, bye.